Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Be strategic with spending. Be strategic. See, one of the reasons I, I changed this from about the business, about that business to money matters, was money management. And y'all noticed, uh, especially before uh, my stroke, I was talking a lot about money management. Now, I'm, you know, I'm putting the business aspect into it now, but uh, like with different types of businesses and everything, but still ultimately, whether you have a business or whether you just, you good with your nine to five, whether you have a career somewhere, whatever you're doing, you still gotta be strategic with how you spend your money. When you look at a lot of people, they have plenty of money. If you really look at a lot of people, even some poor people have money, but then they spend it on stuff that they don't need. Like you can start off with a minimum wage job, depending on how you spend your money, where you spend your money, how strategic you are, you can actually build that up. You can actually build that up because I notice you get a lot of people who have trouble when, and, you know, they say they poor, but then you start looking at where they spend their money. You know, they buying a bunch of stuff they don't need, buying maybe some clothes, even if the clothes are cheaper, uh, cigarettes, alcohol, stuff like that. Unfortunately, you get some people, they spending a lot of money on drugs, uh, they overeating. You spending money on a lot of stuff that you really don't need. If you strategic, you can take a little bit of money, just a little bit, and be strategic with it, you can actually build that up. I use myself for an example. Now I've said I've, I've been down in the dumps and everything, but I was strategic with how I spent my money to the point where, now I always talk about how they say half of Americans couldn't handle a $400 emergency. Um, just being strategic with how I was making money, I got, I would, there was a point where that was the case for me as well, but by being strategic, I got to the point where I had the money. I remember when I ran into a deer down in the D.C. area. They had to fix the car, and you know, with insurances, it's like $500 deductible. They fixed it right away. It's like, oh man, I ain't really wanna spend it, but boom, boom, they fixed the car and all of that. And that's very important. That's, that's very important, because I remember the time I couldn't have did that. It would have been a strain. Or even now, now people who follow me know I had a stroke. Um, and even with insurance, Still, you still gotta pay something. You got copay or something like that. That's a maintenance. That's a whole other conversation. People have insurance and still gotta pay something. But eh, that's a political conversation. But the thing was being strategic with how I spent the money. I didn't. I haven't missed a beat. I haven't missed a payment on anything, and still paying the hospital bills too. You know, because I was strategic and then, you know, little stuff come up, but then having, thinking about, okay, let me use this card or let me break it out of my savings, something like that. And then thinking about, okay, where am I going to go with this money? You know, like when I, even when I buy clothes, I'm very strategic with it. Very, very strategic. It was like, I'm thinking, okay. Like a lot of now, people have seen me, especially on my other channel, wearing the Lacoste and the um, polos. But I was very strategic with it. First of all, I never paid full price for any of them. I always got them from, got them on sale at outlets. You know, outlets where they like 30% off from the bat and then have another sale. See, that's the thing, but that's being strategic. You're not just paying full price for stuff. Because even millionaires, they don't, they don't really pay full price. They can get, they'll still get like some fancy clothes and all of that, but they'll find a way to save some money on it. Even if they buying expensive cars and stuff, they still not gonna pay full price. They gonna be strategic. Heck, part of the way they probably became millionaires, they were strategic. You know, like, let me use a clothes example again. I always look at that as an investment. I always look at it as an investment. Like if I got the shoes I have, it was always, okay, I'm gonna get these nice shoes, but I would be doing an, an event or something where I needed to look nice. So I would, you know, I would be like, okay. Or some clothes or pants. It's very, it's very, very, very rare I would buy something that didn't have a use, like workout clothes. I wouldn't just buy stuff just to be fly or something. It's like, okay, where am I going to wear this? 
you know, the food, you know, thinking about, okay, what am, yeah, I got to eat. And that's, to me, that was, uh, that's an investment because I'm investing in my health and stuff. And, you know, um, I mentioned with the stroke, I couldn't eat for a while, uh, like regular foods. But now that I'm starting to be able to eat again, being strategic on what I'm getting, you know, you want to you want to do that with your money. You want to try to get you don't want to get to the point you just giving money out. There's a lot of people who do that and they're making a lot of money. That's a scary thing. They could be making high five figures, six figures and then still living paycheck to paycheck. And you're like, well, how are you doing that? They're not strategic with how they spend their money. They're just spending money willy nilly. See, that's very important. Like I said, you could be at, you could be getting minimum wage and build that up. Like I always say, pay yourself. Like, uh, and it's cliche to say that, but pay yourself first, which means put the money in the savings. That's strategic, no matter how much. Now, I remember there was a time I was making very little money. I still put away like five to ten dollars. Five to ten dollars. And then you would still have a bit more. You know, that builds up, that builds up quickly. And then you can use that money. Uh, like I talked about like starting a business with no capital, but unfortunately there's some businesses you're gonna, you need capital for. It's savings, there's a lot of businesses that started out using savings and credit cards and stuff like that. You know, even, especially with your credit, be very careful how you spend it. Don't spend it willy nilly just cause you have it on the card. Be careful on how you spend it, be careful. Be strategic, it's like, okay, do I really need this? Do I need this? That's how you have to think. Because one thing with money, you have to think in terms that it's a, uh, money is really a tool. Don't think of something just you just happen to have, but it's a tool. It's a tool for life. In fact, I'm gonna get into that lifestyle aspect in the next episode. It's a tool to use in order to get the things that you want. Let me say that again, it's a tool to use. And you gotta look at it like that. It's not the money itself. Some people think, oh, you're making that much money. Okay, what are you doing with it? You have to think about, it. okay, are you, do you have a nice place? Do you have money for an emergency? Like if you're a renter, okay, fine. Can you rent in a good neighborhood? If you buying your home or you uh, buying the car, can you fix the car? Can you fix that leak in the roof? I remember there was someone telling me about, uh, it was a, uh, someone who had did some work, uh, some contracting work in the Fort Washington area of PG County. Now that's, that's a rich area. But I remember this guy said, yeah, you got some people there with some big houses, but they can't fix a leak in the roof. Come on there, come on there. So you gotta be strategic with your spending. You gotta make sure that you're doing right by it. You know, look at money as a tool. Think about where you spend money and everything, all right? So, anyway, y'all know the deal. I want y'all to think about that, but y'all know the deal. Let's go, make that money.